Hello friends, uh, welcome back uh, to Network Tutorials on uh, uh, NS2. Uh, in that, uh, the question number two follows like this. Implement uh, transmission of ping messages uh, route or a network topology consisting of six nodes and find the number of packets dropped due to congestion. Uh, basically, we are considering here the uh, six nodes point to point network. Uh, and uh, the usage of ping command. Ping command basically will be used to determine uh, the connectivity uh, of TCP IP network to a network. Here also with the help of ping message or the ping command, we are going to determine the network connectivity, whether the node belongs to that network or uh, it's failed out of the network or not. Uh, the program follows like this. Uh, initially, it will uh, go with the uh, simulator class followed by animation file followed by trace file. And I had given a detailed uh, uh, description of all these uh, animation file, trace file and simulator class in the previous lecture of mine. You can refer to those lecture for the further details. Uh, as in the question clearly told uh, us to create six nodes, we are creating six nodes here. Node 0, Node 1, Node 2, Node 3, Node 4 and Node 5. And all these nodes ha are, are creating with the help of a class called as subclass called as node subclass. And uh, uh, out of this six nodes, we are creating uh, one centralized node with the help of a shape or uh, shape code, with the help of a uh, structure code as box shape. By default, uh, the shape of the node will be a circle. But in case of this topology, uh, the centralized node, we are uh, to differentiate it as a centralized node. Uh, we had taken a separate class code as shape class. Uh, after creating all the nodes, we are uh, going for next step called as link setup. Uh, the link setup will be created as usual, the reference to the uh, simulator class followed by the type of link, followed by the sender node, followed by the destination node, and followed by the bandwidth, followed by the simulation time, and the, follow the last parameter is the type of queue. And all the nodes, what were taken, all nodes are connected to the uh, node number 4. As I told that, node number 4 is the centralized node. For all the nodes, we are creating the ping command uh, uh, with the help of a class called as uh, ping. Within that, we have a, uh, within that uh, we have a class called as agent. Within that agent, we have a class called as ping. Within this class, we are creating an object called as uh, p1 with the help of an operator called as new operator. I'm attaching the features of ping class to node one, and I'm I'm giving the size for that node, the packet size. Uh, in this uh, case, it should be an upper case. I think I told about all these things. And the time interval of sending the packet uh, of uh, this interval, millisecond interval. In a similar fashion, what we taken uh, for uh, uh, ping 1 object, the similarly we have to go for ping 2 object for node 1. And uh, 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 we are attaching uh, ping 3 to uh, node 2. And similarly, we are creating the ping object for other uh, nodes also. And at last, after creating the ping object for all the nodes, we are attaching the queue limit for the uh, node 0 to node 4, node 2 to node 4, and node 4 to node 5. For few connections, we had given the queue limit. Uh, you may have a question, why can't we go with all the nodes queue limit or all the nodes ping agent? Why? Because uh, it's not required to consider all the ping uh, objects. Uh, let me explain in greater details of that uh, while explaining the execution part. The very important class, uh, very important method what we're using within this program is uh, the procedure called as receive procedure. This receive procedure, RECV, is the name of the procedure. This is a type of procedure called as instant procedure, and this belongs to a class called as agent slash ping. And we all know that for procedure, I will have uh, three parameters, the name of the procedure, followed by the parameters, followed by the beginning of the procedure in the same line. And this procedure belongs to a class called as agent slash ping. And we are passing a pa uh, parameter called as RTT from RTT, from which node, from which RTT. RTT stands for round trip time. We all know that the time taken by the uh, node to send the data and to get back an acknowledgement. That complete time is called as RTT. Uh, with, uh, within this uh, 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 receive procedure, we have a variable called as instant variable node underscore. It's a default name which is present, which is given within this uh, method. Uh, and uh, we, are, we have a put statement. Uh, why we are going with this uh, procedure? Because we need to check out the ping connectivity, the, the node connectivity of that uh, TCP IP network topology uh, of six nodes that can be determined with the help of this uh, ping uh, receive uh, method, uh, receive procedure. 
this puts will uh, similarly behave like a printf statement of C language or any other language. Here we are going to uh, print the same thing what is embedded with the help of double quotes. Uh, that is uh, node underscore node 0, node 1, node 2, node uh, 3, node 5. Answers from which node uh, of round trip, round trip time of uh, how much milliseconds that will be printed. This firm node and dollar RTT will be calculated with the help of a save uh, procedure. And at last, uh, when this will be called, whenever uh, uh, whenever all the ping agent will be created, whenever the ping agent will be created, this will be instantly called and that will be executed and it will check out whether the nodes are create, nodes are connected or not. And at last, we are connecting uh, P1 and P3 uh, for the uh, respect to uh, nodes. And at last, we are finishing the procedure with the help of finish procedure, making all the variables as, uh, no, all the objects as global and uh, flushing all the variables and uh, I mean deleting all the uh, data which is within that objects and uh, closing the files and executing the animation file and here this is uh, very important here whenever this will be uh, at this amount of time we are sending a ping uh, agent to the node number 4 okay uh, I had taken the starting time as 0 0.1 and the end time as 3.0 so until 2.9 the nodes are sending the data but in our, in our example we have taken P1 node I mean the node 0 and node 2 are sending the uh, data to node number 4 the centralized node and at last we are ending the calling the finished procedure at this time and we are running the simulation let me explain the detailed aspects of this with the help of this output simulation uh, environment uh, where node number 4 is the centralized node and all these nodes are connected to this node and uh, node number uh, 0 uh, we had attached an agent of P1 and node number uh, you know, 1 we had attached an agent of uh, P2 or P3 uh, these nodes are sending the data sending a request to node number 4 but node number 4 cannot be able to reply for all the nodes at the same time so this node may send back a reply or may drop its request Okay, so that dropping will be uh, calculated if, if the if the if the sender node got the reply back, that is a complete one RTT. That is sending a request and get by, uh, getting back a reply. That is one RTT that will be calculated and that will be displayed on the output console. If the request has been failed, that will be considered it as packet dropped. That packet dropped will be calculated with the help of aux script here. As we all know that Oxcript contains three parts, begin part, rules part and end part. In the begin part, as usual, we are declaring the uh, variables and the rules part, we are writing the rule which is required. Dollar one indicates the first column is equal to is equal to D. D indicates drop the type of the event. I had explained all the details of Oxcript and uh, the similar details in a previous session. If that, if that is encountered, the drop has, the variable has to be incremented and that will be encountered and uh, that will be displayed with the help of output console at the uh, end part. Once we executed the simulation, the simulation uh, tool will display the animation file where uh, no, two nodes are sending the data to the centralized node. That node cannot be able to identify uh, the actual request and uh, uh, it may replay or it may drop the packet. That packet will be encountered as a dropped packet here and that will be encountered with the help of uh, uh, the output called as the number of packets of is equal to. If it is going to successful reply, uh, the node number 0 received answer from which node with a round trip time of what amount of milliseconds it has taken for that particular round trip time. Uh, this is the end of uh, uh, question number 2. Uh, thanks for listening. Thank you.